have this 2019 Cascadia and um, this truck has been having issues I've been working on it just right now so I wanna do the video right away so I've been having these two cuts right here uh, and there's two more but these are related to uh, engine but it is the same code basically so what we are getting um, is uh, this is a default numbers if you wonder um, if you, uh, what we're getting is uh, no signal for the air temperature sensor then goes right here now we have the check engine light on as well as consequence we're getting that so um, it, it is a very strange code because it says then the circuit is high which is open and it says then the sensor is shorted to ground the gr ground wire you see ground is shorted to chassis which is ground it's kind of weird anyway uh is a very strange code so if you wonder the location of the ambient temperature sensor on the New York Cascadia's uh, chassis that one goes right here this is the sensor he goes in this position right here uh, yeah like that very hard to see it because of the lighting yeah like that see the mirror that's where it goes Anyway, this is just the location. Um, it is only for, um, well, I mean, all Cascadias. Even the 125s, they have the sensor right here. Uh, for the older version, some of them, they want to have it at the end of the chassis for the old Cascadias, like 2012. But 2015s and up, mostly they have it there. So the panel has to be removed because this cable goes to the mirror that's where the sensor is connected but uh, that's the reason why we have this cable completely disconnected because we get in problems with shorted to ground and different issues but uh, now I decided to open right here just to see sometimes you're gonna get damage in this corner right here because the wiring will be chaffing but in this case there is no damage and there is no damage in there as well right here usually the cable can be rubbing here for so much time and the uh, protection material gets completely destroyed and uh, it gets short but in this case we didn't have no that i mean that's those are basic inspections i don't say then that will happen to the truck it's just somewhere to start so once we get all done uh we are going to uh see the plug and once we get the plug we can see how much corrosion we have here and as well we have water uh, let's get closer so we can see the water all right see that's water 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 so what happened here is then we have the ground cable here and we have water under so water is shorting the system that's the reason why we have a problem with the system because water is getting in the cable somehow you see there is not nothing where the water gun goes in so i have no idea how water got in but it is so this water has been here for a while that's the reason why we are getting this uh, issue and there is a lot of corrosion that's the reason why it looks blue because water has been sitting here for a couple days you can see you can clearly see the damage so here we have an issue, an example of an issue of an electrical problem on these newer trucks. And it is just because we have electronics. Um, the uh, voltage in this case is like 4.5 volts 
1.1 volts when the when the system is working so when the voltage is that low anything like this will short because the voltage is too low to actually go through and it gonna claim then we have a broken circuit or something but in this case it is just water in the system but just water it, that, that little bit of water is enough because the circuit is um, is using very short very low voltage so it, it is not enough to break the barrier of water so that's the reason why we're getting these issues um anyway uh see so been using these tools to test because it, it, to be honest I'll, I'll explain what i was doing uh, so that way you understand what is uh, the process on how to fix problems like this or to understand how to get to this point then i have to go to this so i've been using the power pro which is this one being very helpful for years that's all you need and uh, that's pretty much it in a blade the reason why i needed a blade is because i came to the bag which is right here where the sensor goes and I decided to inspect the wiring when the sensor is connected to see how the voltage drops. So we have a little cut that I did right here. Let me get it closer. Right here. That one, see? That and that. It is not enough. Uh, it is not big enough for it to actually short to ground right here. Sorry, right here. So when you do cuts, make sure they're very tiny. So that way, in case you leave them, you don't uh, get any short. Um, and uh, I know for sure now the water is gonna go inside this wiring, but um, that's something that I know is going to happen. So uh, it is just part of the testing. I can put some silicone in this so that way i can prevent it but water is gonna go in anyway because of vibration pressure and all that um and basically in this we have completely ground in one cable and we have a voltage in the other but it's because we have a damage wiring i mean a damage uh caused by, by water so this water right here is going to short the system because we have the line then goes the gray line goes for ground you can see right there the black and white goes for uh, one side of the sensor and the gray one next to it goes to the other side of the sensor and both of them are shorted with water including the three bottom ones And that's the reason why we have um, the issue of that see the same here we don't have even we don't have that wood uh, um, connection between the pin the female pin and the male pin you see that male pin all covered with uh, corrosion the same thing here well it's a very basic problem what i'm showing you but very difficult to understand it and to find the cause of the issue i will not believe then the issue is right here but here you have it the issue is on this uh, plug right here um of course after we fix the issue the cut should be solved which will uh, it should be go off automatically um hope uh, this video is helpful for you um, so thank you for watching any questions go to Instagram look for me Francisco Mayut thank you for watching subscribe to the channel you know anything else you know what to do been watching so many videos of myself I believe so very helpful video for you hopefully uh, well I supposed to end the video right now and I'm still talking so all right see you later